for joining us. First up at 5.30, millions of people, including our children, have a new friend on social media. It's an artificial intelligence robot on Snapchat. Yeah, a lot of people could be saying, what is this all about? The feature rolled out to all users this week, and there are already concerns about what it knows about you and what it's telling teenagers. Our consumer reporter, Cassidy Williams, explains what parents should know. When 17-year-old Amir Phillips checked his phone earlier this week, there was something he wasn't expecting. It was the first notification I saw on my phone. I was like, what is this? And I opened it. It was like, hey, I'm your new friend. That friend was my AI. It's a new feature on Snapchat that uses GPT technology customized for the app. You can ask it anything and get a human-like response within seconds. Like, how hot is the sun and stuff like that? Just, just like common stuff. Instead of like going on Google and searching it, we would just try to use an AI. And it answers you um, in a very human-like format, um, which again, can be wonderful and a little terrifying at the same time. John Powers is the director of the Graduate Interactive Media and Communication Program at Quinnipiac. He says like any new technology, there are pros and cons. My AI can be better at pulling information from different sources, but the information isn't always accurate. There have also been examples of the feature answering inappropriate questions. You know, one person even tested and said, I'm 13 and I want to date someone who's 18 years older than me. And it gave advice about how to, to do that. We decided to give the feature a try. First, I asked my AI to tell me about Connecticut. It answered with a few sentences about it being a small state known for fall foliage and being close to NYC. Then I asked if it knew where I lived. It quickly answered, Rocky Hill. For the record, I don't live in Rocky Hill but I was sitting at my desk in Rocky Hill when I sent that message. What the app knows about you and what it does with that data is one of the concerns for Amir's dad, Anthony. You don't know who's controlling it. I don't know who's behind it. Snapchat says as of April 19th, 99.5% of my AI responses conform to the app's community guidelines and that they are constantly working on improvements. Phillips says this is reminding him to talk to his teens about your security online. I've been in the military for over 20 years, so that's kind of a big thing. So for them, it's kind of, you know, know who you're talking to, know where it's coming from. Cassidy Williams, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.